despite the intense interest in orgasm, especially with a lover, we all assume that everyone else has it all figured out. Women are assumed to orgasm during sex, but the key researchers into female sexuality, Alfred Kinsey and Sherry Height, did not confirm this. Only 50% of women said they could orgasm, sometimes during intercourse. Naturally, any woman with this experience is considered to be sexually normal. But they also found that 50% of women never or rarely orgasm from intercourse. Despite the numbers of women involved, these women are labelled as dysfunctional. The result of this categorisation is negative because it intimidates women into silence. Alfred Kinsey interviewed over 5,000 women in the 1950s. He found that only some women, around 40% of his sample, said they could orgasm sometimes, that is approximately 75% of the time on average, with a lover. But he found that orgasm was much more reliable through masturbation, which had a 95% success rate. It was also more easily achieved. In four minutes, compared with 10 to 20 minutes or longer during sexual activity with a lover. Sherry Height circulated anonymous questionnaires in the 1970s. She received over 1,800 replies, which can be analysed as follows. Women who orgasm regularly from intercourse alone, 30%. Women who need additional clitoral stimulation, 19%. Women who orgasm rarely from intercourse, 22%. And women who never orgasm from intercourse, 29%. So half of her sample said they never or rarely orgasm from intercourse. Despite the pressure on women to describe their sexual experiences as orgasmic, most women tend to be unsure about orgasm, especially with a lover. So research into female orgasm always attracts women who masturbate because they are most confident about how they achieve orgasm. Women who claim to orgasm with a lover are no more sexually active than other women, neither do they behave sexually as men do. Women continue to talk about meaningless sex. They are apparently unaware that there is no such thing for men. Lack of orgasm is not a dysfunction for women. Sexual ego means that few sources challenge our unrealistic expectations by explaining that orgasm is not an everyday occurrence for women. The Swiss researcher Andrea Burry talks about the increase in what is called female sexual dysfunction, FSD. She says, one of the diagnostic criteria for FSD is feeling distressed. But what causes the distress? Is it the condition itself? Or is it what you think is expected of you, and in turn, what you start expecting of yourself? The way sex is portrayed in the media and in films often provides us with a base of comparison that is not always realistic for the individual. <laughs>